Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Starr and this is my channel Not Bad Films. I make uh, videos about music related topics and today's video topic is... Uh, uh, wait, wait, here it is. The line out feature on the Fender Superchamp. It occurred to me that I've not actually used this feature on the Fender Superchamp which is an amp that I'm a big fan of. I have a bunch of videos about it on my channel. I think it's a great amp, right? But I've never actually used the line out. I've uh, run into a bigger cab um, when playing live. I've uh, used, uh, I've mic'd it when playing live. I needed more oomph or something, but I've never used line out either into like a house PA. And I've never used line out into a recording console either. I've always just mic'd it at home with a, a Shure SM57. So I thought, well, let's, let's do this as a test, right? Uh, I'm curious, I wanna know. So I'm going to grab a Fender Stratocaster. All my pedals are off. Uh, nothing else is on to color the sound. I have a little reverb on there. Uh, reverb is around uh, about four. And bass and treble are... Uh, treble is around four and bass is around five. I did a quick test before this with just some headphones. Now I'm in the room so I have the amps and I have the headphones and I've got some latency issues. So it's hard for me to pick out immediately like what the clear difference is. But I, I've figured them out. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to play. Uh, I'll, you'll be able to hear both the, the line out feature going directly into my um, my audio interface into Logic and then the Shure SM57. And you can see like which one do you think is better, whatever, which one's worse. <laughs> and then uh, how different are they? And then I'll just yeah, let you know which one's which and we'll We'll, we'll listen to it some more. This uh, Strat is um, it's actually a, a uh, this is a it's a crafted in Japan Strat. Um, I'll be using the uh, the neck pickup. Um, sort of a, just won't let's not jump around. Let's keep it sort of straightforward, right? So, um, could you tell which one was which? Which one was the line out? Which one was the mic? Um, for mic setup here, I have the uh, Shure. Uh, there's a windscreen on it just because I, I have that on because I used to use it as, a, as a vocal mic, but I've recently got this Neumann uh, TLM 102, which is a, a great guitar amp mic as well, but I figure everyone sort of has a, a Shure SM57 that's what you have at a lot of venues, so I don't want to go overboard. Anyways, I, I had positioned the Shure sort of a little uh, off-center, um, and then I realized that it was a little darker than the line out, so to try to mirror them as best I could, I listened and I moved the mic to sort of make it a little bit brighter where it was, although directly on the center of the cone was, was pretty noisy and hissy, so I, I uh, scooted it a little off-center. So I'll play a little bit more. <laughs> Trying to test out sort of some of the dynamics, see how that translates. Um, 
you know. Pretty short video, pretty straightforward, I think. Um, hopefully that gives you a quick uh, sense of what the line out on the Fender Super Champ sounds like when recorded. Um, just what that tone's like. I try to get these levels uh, as close as I could in, in their output and sort of try to get the mic positioning to sort of give the same sort of uh, high-end response, frequency, whatever you want to say. Thank you uh, so much for watching. If you like this video, check out other stuff on my channel. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I got a Patreon. A huge thank you to everyone who is a patron and helps support me in making videos like this. All right. Any questions, leave a comment. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Grab your guitar. Happy practicing.